just got out of the shower, so I'm going to blow dry my hair. We're going to go over to his dad's, get some stuff done. all she wrote. <laughs> There's really not much to my hair um, but I'm also wearing a hat. I just wanted to dry it so I'm really not doing any kind of styling with my hair or anything like that so I need to cut the tag out of this because it, it bugs me. Oh <sighs> So how are y'all today? Uh, we planned on getting up earlier, but that didn't happen again. So, yeah, there we go. We're going to head over to his dad's as soon as he gets out of the shower. It's still daylight, so yay, I can get some footage. And, um, yeah, my toes are cold, so I'm going to go put some socks and shoes on. This has been our saving grace in the bedroom since we moved in on December 15th. This poor thing has run constantly. Like, we turn it off when we leave, but for the most part, it is on all the time. So, anyway, um, I love it. I'm sitting at the edge of my bed right now, warming my feet. I'm going to put some shoes and socks on, and we're going to head over to his dad's. Do you see that? Do you, do you see that? It's sunlight. <laughs> Grabbed a water out of the fridge. I think I'm going to make me some coffee to go. Let's sit you down. Okay, well, I'm a little crooked, but you just have to deal with that. So I'm going to make me a little coffee to go real quick. And I've got to edit. I need some fuel. So, actually, I don't really have to edit that much. I have to, um, uh, actually, I think I finished all the editing last night. Yeah, I did. Okay, I got these really cute cups, and they're in, um, they're in a Halloween haul. I'll link it down below uh, a while back, but they also have regular ones, and they're still there. But I got, um, and they're little to-go cups. But I got, um, Witch's Brew. Let's see, can you see, can you see? Which is brew, and then this one says coffee with extra scream. But the ones that they have now, um, and there are two of them for a dollar, and they're from Dollar General. But they say take it to go, and um, they come with little lids on them. And I just I love them, but um, I don't use them nearly as much as I used to because now we're um, you know we don't. Woo. Sunlight. If I put you in my window today, Emma is whining because apparently the sun reflected off my phone, and that's a laser to her as well. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Um, not used to filming when there's actually daylight outside. Anyway, I'm gonna make my coffee, and then we will be on our way. Yes, please. <coughs> Emma. I promise, honey, it's not a laser. Mommy's just waiting for her coffee. It's reflecting directly above my head, and she's losing her mind. Mm. Will you stop it? This is Emma. Emma, what is your damage? Really? There's pretty Bailey. Bailey! What's your damage, Emma? 
Well, I can't help it if you're kind of special. Look at those ears. Lulu. Here's my 10 month old. Wow, sir, that was loud. Emma, honey, there's no such thing as laser. Hey, Chewbacca. Choo choo. Oh, Bailey, you just knocked him out of the way. Bailey, girl. Come here, Luna. Here's the puppy. Luna. Luna, can you tell me? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Mommy's going back to her coffee making now. Yay! It's 419, you guys. 419. Seriously. <sighs> I'm going to make this coffee and take you on an adventure. So this is our front porch, and I have other I have other um, videos that I need to post of um, you know my porch and everything. But it's a little walkway between our house and Aunt Vondell's. So ice baby, ice in that little trough thing. Yeah. Uh, can you see that in there? That's ice. There's our truck. Oh, and I have the key, huh? <laughs> okay. start with me saying it's cold <laughs> but it's cold <laughs> I'm trying to heat on turn the heat on I meant the light on turn the light on not the heat on but I'd like to have the heat on too um, we just got back from his dad's it's like 7:30 at night I did get some footage from like outside uh, just our little drive that's about it um, I didn't film at their house, but I did get all of my videos uploaded, so uh, days one through three are uploaded. Oh, I can't feel my fingers. Uh, I am going to make some food, because we are hungry, we haven't eaten all day. Well, we pretty much slept all day. I woke up at three today, took a shower. Um, tomorrow, we're going to go into town, we're going to go into Collins, because there's um, some stuff that his dad saw at a thrift store in Collins, and... Um, said that we probably could use it and for our, like getting internet or it's a, a, a what is it babe it's a oh, yeah it's an internet repeater okay because uh, we can get the internet from the front house but we can't uh, it's just not strong enough so we're gonna he saw a repeater there so we're gonna try and get it and um yeah so what you doing all up in the fridge hungry. <laughs> i know i'm hungry too i'm gonna start making something right. gonna try and get back on track to where we're actually sleeping at night and up during the day but internet is a no-go um, right now for us getting it at our house. Our, uh, we're finding out that everything is regulated by the FCC. It's pulled up by your address, and the FCC does not have our address, apparently. And so my father-in-law, who is 100 yards away or so, um, has fixed wireless, which is what we need to get out here because the little hot spots, they just don't work. Um he has it, and uh, they're saying our address is not. But we just, like, we just got our address. Like, it's not even, our address is probably, what, a month and a half old, if that. Maybe, we, yeah. maybe that. I don't know. It, we were a couple days into, like, probably it was in December. I mean, it hasn't even been a month, probably, um, that we got our uh, address, our address here. So, we can't get internet until they find us. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's 
it's difficult. So we're working on things. Yummy. So I just sliced up the seitan, the second loaf, because we already killed the first loaf. Um, and I'm going to make some sandwiches. And I also have some smashed red hot potatoes. That's all I have left of my potatoes. So I have to get another bag of potatoes. And um, yes, yeah, so they just got some seasonings. So they are already cooked, but they are um, like they're already cooked. And then I smash them with like, I'll use this. So I just smash them with the bottom of that. And um, crack some, put some butter, crack some pepper. I have to take care of that mess. I mean, how do two people make this much of a mess? I don't, I don't understand. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to continue making our dinner. Oh, yeah. This is going to happen. <laughs> um, yeah, it's cold, but I we really wanted some sandwiches with that seitan. So, made this is toast with some um, just mayo, got some tomatoes, pickles, lettuce, the uh, seitan, and mustard. These are smashed red hot potatoes. You just basically cook... Um, potatoes once they're cold you just smash them with like a glass till they start splitting and then you put like butter and seasonings on top of this have um, rosemary garlic salt and uh, black pepper and butter and then I have some cabbage and some veg in there and yeah I'm about to kill this because I'm so hungry <laughs> but we pretty much eat like once a day we kind of snack, but we really much, we really pretty much eat one big meal a day. So, yeah, I'm going to grub. Hey guys, um, the food was bomb. Uh, I'm still kind of munching on stuff, drinking a root beer, and I'm just editing some stuff. And my sweet mother-in-law lent us a heated blanket for the bed so I am super excited to lay underneath this tonight um, I am sitting on the heating pad right now I'm trying to take it easy with my back so I was thankful enough to be able to upload all of the stuff that I needed to upload today over at um, my in-laws house and um, oh, this is much better okay <laughs> um, but my in screen that I created uh, it doesn't really line up how I'd like it to, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make another end screen. Um, I'm not real sure of all the ins and outs of, like, how to make videos and all that stuff. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty tech savvy. I have a, a certificate in microcomputer applications and networking, but, uh, that doesn't really mean squat these days. Um, so I also have my real estate license. And, um, come spring, I'm actually going to start classes to get my license here in Mississippi because I'll have to think, I think I only have to take just the state part of it. And then of course I have to take more required hours in order to, um, because my license doesn't expire until, ooh, November of 2018. So I've got a lot of work to do over 2018 to get my license back up and running or just up and running because um, I got my license, but I never used it. I didn't want to use it. I really don't want to use it now. I don't want to be an agent. But, you know, um, that opportunity was provided for me at my previous position. And I'm not going to let it go to waste because I did put a lot of time and effort into that. And I'm going to put more time and effort into um, it here. And I can probably find, you know, something maybe, but I'd have to go into Hattiesburg and that's probably about like a 20 minute drive or so. And I really don't really want to do that, um, especially with our vehicle. It's kind of a gas hog. It's a 1998 Dodge Durango and it's a four by four and it's just a really, really not economical vehicle at all. So eventually that will just be my husband's work truck and we'll get something that's more um, economical and gas friendly where I can travel. Fortunately tonight I got some really not so good news. My grandmother is, uh, her health is failing. She's not really had the best couple of last years. Uh, she came and lived with us when we lived in Texas for a little while and, uh, you know, wanted to get a second opinion for 
her medical issues. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with her. And long story short, they had her like medicated like a zombie. And um, she ended up having a heart attack here. And had she not had a heart attack or had they not done a test on her to test if she had a heart attack, they thought she had a seizure. But they found like blockage. So they had to put a stent in and she was doing a lot better. But she just turned 91. So for her 90th birthday last year, she was, um, she turned 90 and then turned right around February, um, January she fell, January 13th she fell and hit her head, so we were in the hospital for that, and then uh, not even a month later she had a heart attack, and we thought we were going to lose her then, and then, um, you know, she turned, like, she, it was, it was crazy because she didn't know who anybody was, she was talking out of her head, and then all of a sudden she just woke up. And, uh, said my name and it was weird cause we all took turns like, li like staying at the hospital and sleeping there. And, um, we thought we were going to lose her in February and then she ended up going into, um, uh, a home in Galveston. She didn't like it. So she wanted to leave. And, uh, so she went back to her home, uh, in Kennedale, which is up by Mansfield, Fort Worth area. Um, she went up back home and, uh, you know, it's just, her health has just been, you know, getting Steadily declining, rather. Um, so my dad's going up there tonight to see her uh, and be with her because we really don't know how much longer uh, she's going to be around. And unfortunately, if I was still in Texas, I'd be taking the trip with my dad as well. Um, but I'm not. So um, I probably won't get to see my granny again. And um, I'm kind of um, struggling with that a little bit tonight. But uh, she's had a really good life. And, uh, she's the last remaining, uh, grandparent that I have, so it sucks, but, you know, it is what it is, and she's 91, so she's, um, she's had a good life, and, uh, you know, death is inevitable, so it just sucks that I can't be with her and, you know, see her one last time. I have a visitor who's not supposed to be in my room. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. This is my rotten. This is my little rotten princess. Oh, who isn't supposed to be in mommy and daddy's bedroom. You're not supposed to be in here, mama. Come on. I'll be back. Anyway, I had to kick her out, but uh, we were, I was interrupted by Emma when uh, I was talking about my grandmother. So a lot's happened in 2017, and uh, I'm just, I'm thankful that I got to spend the time that I did get to spend with her, but, um, you know, unfortunately, I probably won't get to see her again in this lifetime. So um, please send all your thoughts and well wishes um, and prayers and things like that Um you know, keep my dad, especially this is his last remaining parent and, uh, my last remaining grandparent that is still alive. So, um, yeah, anyway, uh, I don't really want to get, you know, too emotional. I don't want to cry. I'm sure that there will be vlogs in the future that I cry. Today has also been very, um, irritating because, uh, of the internet situation and just kind of one thing after another, after another. And it's like, frustrating is more the word and yeah so <laughs> I'm gonna edit I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog for now um and just you know talk to my dad and see what's going on up there anyway hope you're doing well see you tomorrow bye let me see if I can get this on camera and carry on Willow carry on <laughs> she's just looking at the phone How does that not hurt? <laughs> Do any of your cats play with their own tail? Like, <laughs> she will chase her own tail. <laughs> it's your tail, honey. That's yours. No, because it's your tail. <laughs> <laughs> you play with fire, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha.
And when she's done playing with her tail, she's going to crawl right underneath the covers and snuggle next to him all night long, mm-hmm. like she did last night. She's such a weird cat. <laughs> you get your tail? Is that your tail? Get that tail. Get that tail, Willow. She's slipping it. I know she is. <laughs> it's crazy. Willow. Lady, that bright, that light is bright. <laughs> Get your tail. Getting sleepy. Crazy. <laughs> this cat, though. Hello, you good girl.